Hi, this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time visiting this channel, I urge you to go ahead and uh, subscribe. All right, so now in our lesson today, we're going to focus on elements, compounds, and mixtures. So you're going to learn how to define an element, compounds, and as well as mixtures. Then you will learn how to classify elements, and then above all, you should be able to contrast compounds and mixtures. So let's jump into things. So what is an element? An element is a pure substance that cannot be broken down further by chemical means. We can as well define an element as a substance made up of same chemical atoms. Now, there are about three ways in which you can classify elements. One of them is actually by classifying them in terms of state. The elements that are in gaseous state, others are in acquired state, then there are some which are in solid state. So by considering their states, we can class classify them. Then the, the other way in which you can classify elements is by either considering some of them to be metals and non-metals. Like I saw now, there are those which are metals and others are semi-metals. And then there are those that are non-metals. So examples, we get to actually look at them in the lessons that we are going to look at in the nearby future. Uh, so now you can as well classify elements by periodicity. So as you move from the left side of the periodic table to the right, some metals change from metal, some elements rather change from metal to non-metal. Now, what's the composition of elements? What really make up elements? So elements are made up of atoms or molecules. So what then is an atom? An atom is the smallest unit of an element having properties of that element. While a molecule is a group of two or more atoms chemically joined together. For example, chlorine molecule has two atoms. What is the chemical formula? The chemical formula shows the number and kinds of atoms in a molecule. For example, chlorine molecule has the formula Cl2. That Cl actually is actually the chlorine symbol and the subscript 2 shows that there are two atoms of chlorine gas molecule. What are compounds? So a compound is a substance containing two or more elements chemically joined. E.g. magnesium in an element is an element and oxygen is an element. Now when these two are bound together and they get chemically combined through burning, they form magnesium oxide. So magnesium oxide is actually an example of a compound. What composes or what consists in a compound. So compounds consist of ions or molecules. So an ion is actually a charged, a charged particle. Uh, let, let's take for example, you happen to expose some air molecules to radioactive waves, let's say alpha radiations. So now these alpha radiations will actually knock electrons out of the air molecules. So now when those air molecules lose electrons, there will be an imbalance in the in the number of protons and electrons. Hence, since they have lost electrons, there will be more positive charge on those atoms or molecules. Hence, they will be negatively charged. Ah, so now, what is a mixture? A mixture contains two substances which are not chemically joined together. A very good example that I can give is that of seawater. So seawater contains salt and actually water. Let's compare a compound and a mixture. So now, in a compound, component substances 
cannot be separated by physical methods. But a chemical method is required for separation. In a mixture, you don't require a chemical reaction to separate what you've combined together. In most cases, you can even use your hands to separate them. So component substance can be separated by physical methods. For example, if you mix sand and uh, stones, you can easily pick out stones, right? So that's, that's an example of a mixture. <sighs> Number two, the physical and chemical properties of a compound are different from the reactants, those elements that were reacted together to form that compound. But in a mixture, you find that a mixture has physical and chemical properties which are just the same, which are just the same as those of uh, the elements that were mixed together. Uh, so let's move on to number three. A compound has a fixed composition by mass, while a mixture has variable composition by mass. Excuse me, boss, you have a text message. A compound has fixed melting and boiling points, while a mixture has variable melting and boiling points. Well, if you've liked the video and you've been helped in one or the other, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, or follow my page and then share the video with as many people as you can. This is your friend and your brother, Doc Mountain. Have a blessed evening.